Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Caitlin or Blue, and you can pick and choose. And today let's hop right into the video, which what is today's video? Ah uh, yes, my brain rot. Which is Pokemon and Sanrio characters. Now the three Pokemon happen to be in my favorite three evolutions, which is Ombreon, Sylveon, and Leafeon, and I was gonna draw them with my three favorite Sanrio characters, which are Kuromi. My Melody and Pom Pom Purian, but my brain was like, Pom Pom and Leafeon don't go together. They don't match colors. Completely forgetting what Leafeon's color palette was, because I haven't seen um, Leafeon in a hot minute. So I did Kuropi instead, which is my fourth favorite Sanrio character. Um, did you need to know all of this? Of course not, but I wanted to share it anyway, because this is my sketchbook page. So what made me want to draw this? Well, I was already working on a future page, which is a page full of Pokemon and I went you know what I want to draw my favorite little trio of evolutions and then I was scrolling on Pinterest and Chromie popped up on my feed and I was drawing Umbreon at the time which sparked the whole idea of oh hey let me add this in real quick I think it will be cool so real quick let me show you one video of me trying some uh, Sonic food which yes there will be some food clips in this video just because I want to vlog a little and these are some funny little videos that I really enjoy. And yeah, I'll be showing three videos randomly in this video. But give you guys a little warning beforehand just in case if you guys want to skip through. But here is the Sonic's food. And no, this is not sponsored. Okay, we're going to be doing this like a YouTube vlog. Um, so, first of all, oh no, my tots. Okay, my tots fell in the bag, but there they are delicious i love tater tots Woo. i'm a big tater tots gal um i air ordered the cherry limeade but they just gave me the normal limeade so i don't know how this is gonna taste but oh god oh wait let me roll up my window Whew. oh goodness Jesus. Obviously, I'm an American. Now. Yeah. <coughs> oh! If you want something with a slight kick, get the limeade. Go straight. Oh, that's a whole bunch of tater tots. Then we got... We got the number three, which is a, uh... Supersonic Bacon Double Cheeseburger. Scrum Dummy delicious. Okay. Here she is. The baddie herself, a piece of lettuce fell. Let's take a bite. <laughs> uh, it is greasy, but very delicious. Okay, anyways, now that is done, um, I'm sure everybody enjoyed watching that, totally. I tried to make it where y'all could still watch me color. I hope you like that format. We will see what I do, because... I'm trying to figure out how I want to work on this whole thing called YouTube. So now here we are. Um, anyways, I wanted to talk about why I love these three evolutions the most and why they grew so close to me. So let's start with Leafeon because I grew a love for Leafeon when I was about 13. And that means I've only loved the little critter for about five years. And this all happened because my friend gave me like a little chibi Leafeon plushie. And I recognized at that moment that... Leafeon actually was very adorable, and I loved, um, I love the plushie, and, um, yeah, I love nature, and Leafeon is just a perfect candidate for me to love and care for, and yeah, I do have one problem with Leafeon, which I know other people do, and it's Leafeon's shiny form, it's just not it for me, I would have loved if it was, like, the autumn-themed Leafeon, I feel like Leafeon would have been perfect that way, because, like, you know, um, Leafeon looks like a spring-summer type of little creature, and then you could have added in, like, an autumn, and that would have looked sick. He would have been ready for winter at all times. Now, my second evolution I fell in love with was Sylveon, which was back in 2013 when she first was revealed as a new generation of the evolution. And when I got to do research on her and learned that in order to evolve her, I was completely ecstatic. And she evolves through friendship, which can be in different ways. And sometimes there's a ribbon that needs to be used or even doing mini games and gaining more affection. Also having certain movesets just so you can evolve Eevee. Like 
such as baby doll eyes, I believe. I, I didn't do any research for this video. I'm just going off of what I remember off the top of my dome. And yeah, I have zero complaints about Sylveon because I also love the shiny version of Sylveon, which I think I'm biased because my top two favorite colors are blue and pink. So it's kind of just like that was bound to happen. So yeah. Now, my first evolution I fell in love with was Ombrian, which is because that was my first ever evolution I ever got besides, like, the main three. And it was thrilling to me. I looked at Ombrian and I received the name Moon. I know that's so original, but I loved him and I was very young, so he was just my baby. And I bragged about having an Ombrian because I thought he was a cool-looking dude. And it wasn't one of the first three evolutions. It was somebody else. Because originally, I only knew the main three because, you know, Jolteon, Flareon, and um, Vaporeon. I was like, yeah, these, these are the main three. But then, like, I got Omri, and I was like, whoa, guys, pump the brakes. But yeah, anyways, here's me and my brother tasting these new drinks because we are weird and enjoy trying new flavors of things. You said juice review, and I'm doing juice review. What? <laughs> Oh, it's not a... All right, we, we need to buy some more. Oh, <laughs> Look at the difference. These are actually good. Fruit shoot. Damn. <laughs> they taste <they> good. <laughs> you know, I give it a solid nine. Now we're gonna do the the Wyoming, why am why am the melly, the melly, mellow yellow, the mellow yellow. <laughs> Afford to <a> drink. <laughs> you can't tell me that's not like Sprite. I mean, it's pretty good. It's it, oh, you can't smell that one, but it literally no, smells like smell. Sprite. That's good. Sprite. It doesn't taste, like, it tastes like Sprite if it had, like, a baby with, like, like, you know those old lemons that used to be by our house? Oh, yeah. It tastes like one of those. Like, the lemons were not strong. So, anyways, there was um, your guys' little drink review, which was interesting. Uh, yes, we never had Mellow Yellow before because um, I have a strict mother. So, yeah, we, we went off and got it. And we tried fruit shoots, which were really good, by the way. You guys should try them. Not sponsored. I just think they're genuinely really good. So anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a little thing called a heads up, which is I did shade this drawing, but it happens not to be in this because I felt very like under time. So I shaded the drawing at school and it came out very nice. And I think if I remember, I'll post um, what it looks like shaded at the end of this video. Let's just hope I remember. If not, it'll probably be posted on my Instagram. So yeah, you guys can check that out. Which my username is snoozing blue, capital S, capital B, and no E in blue. So since we still have spare time, let me talk about why I love each of these ev evolutions so much. So let's start off with Ombreon, the most basic looking of all of them. So, you know, he's literally just a black and yellow evolution with red eyes, like a deep red. Now I fell in love with this uh, evolution because I've always had a thing for emo-like characters or edgy characters or moody characters, like in shows and books I read and whatnot. So I think that's like a really big like reason why I ended up falling in love with him. I also believe I fell in love with him more just because like he evolves at nighttime and he's just this, he's just a little he's just a little guy, and that's in the games. And I don't know if it's the same anymore for that. But I thought it was nifty because I've always been like a nighttime type of gal. And I love nightly hours. I love staying up as late as I humanly can. And then sleeping is another thing I really enjoy. But anyways, 
I love how the rings on Ombreon can glow. It's kind of like a little nightlight in a way and a comfort. Like, I don't know about you, but I was using nightlights up to 15 or 16 years old because I just don't like pure darkness. Well, I didn't like pure darkness. Now I do. I find comfort in it because, you know, it's it's just darkness. It allows me to sleep and whatnot. But yeah, there's always a nightlight next to my door whenever I was younger. Okay, so next one we're going to do is Leafeon because, you know, Leafeon's, Leafeon's a little goober. So I love Leafeon because of the nature theme and I love how the ears and tail are. Like, there's a little chips in it for the male ones. Fun fact, the females do not have chips in the uh, tail. I don't know if it's the ears as well. But, yeah, there's, like, the little, like, chips in the tail, the ears. I love the green gradients and, like, the yellowish, like, I think that's, like, a yellowish color. In Leafeon, I think, like, the whole color palette is just over, overall really good and really clean. And then, like, the browns, too. It just, oh, it ties it all together so much. And I really like this Pokemon, too, because, like, whenever, like, I think of the Evolutions, I think about these top three. And I'm like, man, if I was out to go onto a nature trail, like, I would want to take Leafeon. Like, you know how cool it would be to take Leafeon on a trip with you? I generally also feel like Leafeon just has a good overall color palette. Same with the other two. It's just Leafeon really, like, draws to me, you know, in, like, a really good way. Okay, now let me ramble off about Sylveon because I love Sylveon a lot and I have some stuff to talk about why Sylveon is my favorite. So, first of all, she's a little girly pop Pokemon. Look at those colors. Look at the pink and blue in her shiny form, blue and pink. This Pokemon is literally made for me. Both forms are stunning and just amazing. And her little bows and ribbons, she's super adorable. And then she has her fluffy tail and ears, her big blue eyes that stare into your soul. And she just wants your friendship out of everything and to feel close to you. Like, just just be her best friend. Like, she's your best friend Pokemon at that point. Then she's such a girly Pokemon. And, like, let me, let me just um, say this. Like, if... If you don't think that she's a girly Pokemon, that's completely okay with me. Everybody has their own, like, you know, way of seeing Sylveon. And to me, she's girly because, like, that's how I associate her for myself is that she's girly. But if she's not girly to you, that's completely okay with me. And if you're a guy and you like her, that doesn't mean she's girly for you. But she is for me. Okay? Okay. And let me tell you, um, I hardly ever touch my feminine side a whole bunch for reasons. But, you know... When I do, it's through the most random things, such as this Pokemon being Sylveon, her lovely little self. I love her so much, and she's pink, which, let me tell you, I used to pretend I hated pink. But, no, I love that color so much, and I implement it in my life a lot more. If it ain't blue, it's pink. Also, another few characters, if you're curious on where I show my femme side, is Angel from Stitch. And then my Fortnite skin is a new girly skin, and it's the Battle Pass skin in a pink. And I love her so much. Okay. Anyways, let me show you me eating a new type of Pocky for myself, uh, because this is the last food thing I wanted to show. So you're getting a part two of me trying food, because I, I literally just threw the box. But I have mint Pocky. I was happy, because it's like Pocky. Why is she so thick? Look at her. Mmm. what it looks like it has chocolate cookie and mint around it and it tastes like a thin mint which thin mints are my favorite girl scout cookie then the peanut butter patties this is good so yeah there was uh, me trying a new pocky flavor and i didn't really think it was a uh, really good i've never had a mint pocky and i thought it was a interesting taste and i actually really liked it it was it was sweet and it tasted like a girl scout cookie like i said and it, it just like the flavors were melting on my tongue anyways we're getting very close to the end of this drawing so i'm going to talk about my favorite part for each of these uh pokemon and the sanrio characters like which one's my favorite for each of them because I feel like that's something that could be implemented into this video because I still have a good two minutes left. So to be honest, my favorite one that I colored is probably Leafeon then Sylveon uh, for the Pokemon. Because I feel like Leafeon just came out so clean and like she looks peaceful to me. 
And yeah, Sylveon is out there and I like the pose and I like how she's holding uh, my melody with her little ribbons. And then for the actual like uh, Sanrio characters, I love how Kuromi came out. She's kicking her feet. I forgot her tail, but that's okay. She's kicking her feet and she's laying down with Ombreon, which I think is so adorable. But yeah, uh, you guys let me know which one is your favorite Eeveelution and Sanrio character. And if you're not into either of those, just let me know. Let me know what Pokemon's your favorite. Yeah. And if not, let me know which uh, character that I drew is your favorite on here. And maybe I'll turn these into little stickers or print ideas because I think these are really cute. Um, I don't know if I can do that. Um, I see other people do it all the time, though. So maybe. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great, amazing rest of your day. And if you got this far, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate your guys' love and support whenever I get it. And yeah, you guys are so amazing. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next video. Um, also, let me know if you guys like the uh, little vlog clips. Um, clips, quotations, heavy on that. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Bye!